What is up guys, it's your boy Alpha and this time I am back with something that many many people have asked me to do in YouTube comments that have come to my stream and asked me questions about it uh, as well as other streamers that are on dual stream PC that have hit me up. Um, this video has been highly requested. Anyway, this is the dual PC stream ultimate guide. So what this is going to be is going to be a guide that shows how to connect that PC to that PC and make your Twitch streams, your YouTube streams, whatever it is, wherever you stream, uh, make them look beautiful and work well and the audio work well and get the audio quality, the uh, video quality, everything to be working right. I hope this helps. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, slap that like button. All right, so the main reason that people use dual stream PC is for efficiency. So you have your game on your game PC and you have everything else on your stream PC. Your stream PC is what takes care of sending out that beautiful crisp image to your viewers that great audio etc uh, so the only things that i have on my game pc are my game and i have obs the reason i have obs just obs studio on my game pc is with dual stream pc setups you run into a problem with screen tearing uh, screen tearing is when you make a quick movement and you see like a line through the middle of your screen that your viewers usually will also see uh, I'll have a link to a video that I also made down below that you can fix that with. It's really important to get rid of that uh, screen tearing. So the only two things I have on my game PC are my game and that program. Uh, that program takes less than one CPU percent uh, usage and the game takes, you know, whatever the game takes. Everything else, like I said, is on my stream PC. So I've got my Go XLR program. Um, I've got literally everything else that you need for streaming. I got Streamlabs OBS. Um, I've got my mod view open. I've got a browser open usually. Um, I've got Discord open usually. I'm going to show you exactly how I have my wiring set up. Um, I have no screen tearing. My streams look excellent. They look super, super crisp. My audio is nice and just everything is dialed. It works perfect. It's just a great setup and I'm going to show you exactly how I have it set up. I'm going to show you exactly what wire goes where. So I'm going to show you where the wires from my stream PC go to my game PC what type of cable I use, um, as well as for my Go XLR to my game and stream PCs as well. And if there's any other cables that I think are important, like for example, um, I use one keyboard and one mouse. Well, technically, technically two mice, uh, but one of them's wireless and it's just always connected to my stream PC. I will show you how I do that, you know, how my, my headset is set up, everything. I'm just going to show you everything. And this is going to be, like I said, the ultimate guide. Another thing that I forgot to mention, is you know if you don't have a go xlr that's fine there's other ways around it and i will put an image of um the, the diagrams that you can use as well as a link to those if you need more in-depth um audio uh guidance when it comes to like voice meter banana or just just a, a normal basic soundboard so um i'll include that as well down in the description below all right guys now you're on the camera um i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about when it comes to all my cables all right so First things first, let's talk about the stream PC. Down there, as you can see down there in the in the bottom depths of my PC is my HD60 Pro capture card. So, the cable that goes to that is an HDMI cable. I'm trying to show you the back of my PC the best I can. Um, that's it right here. It's a three foot cable. It goes from the back of my uh, stream PC into the back of my game PC. So this is my game PC here and this is the cable that comes from my capture card now this is basically if you think about it just another monitor um that's what the game pc sees the capture card is as a monitor so if you keep that in mind it makes it a lot easier to understand why screen tearing happens which i'll go over a little more in depth uh, after i do this part so the other parts of the back of the game uh, stream pc are usb cables let's just go to the mouse and keyboard um camera which is that camera right over there uh and then we've got um another usb cable i believe is this one it goes to the my the back of my go xlr which i'll show you in just a moment we've got ethernet of course and then we've got my two hdmi and dp cables that go to my monitors okay so that's pretty straightforward goes to that monitor and that monitor whereas the capture card hdmi cable goes to the back of that which thinks that it's also a monitor, just like this one, which is my, my game PC's uh, monitor. So, now let's move on to the game PC. The game PC 
has two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks or audio cables that come out of the jacks, right? We've got our line out and we've got line in. Uh, it's important to remember that the line out, which is the far one, is going to go to line in on the Go XLR, which is this one right here. This is line in. So line out goes to line in, line in goes to line out. They have to make a path because it has to have the game PC communicating with the Go XLR and vice versa for audio to go both ways from the two. Uh, with the stream PC, it's connected with the USB cable. So it does that already without the two cables, which is pretty nice. What else is important to note here is I do have my Go XLR on my stream PC. Um, if you got a Go XLR when it first came out, then you most likely would have it on your game PC because that's how they made it initially. But I will link the video. They updated how the line in and line out audio jacks work. And now you can use it on your go on your game PC or sorry on your stream PC, which is just more efficient. Um, efficiency is what we're going for. That's why we have two PCs. And if you want to be efficient, that's the best way to do it. So back to the game PC. Um, again, I've got my uh, capture card and I've got my uh, game PCs monitor, and then we've got our USB cables for you know, various things as well. Our keyboard, mouse. So let's go to the back of the Go XLR. That's just gonna go to this mic. That's pretty straightforward. That's the same for single or dual stream PCs. Again, this is line out, which goes to line in on the game PC. Vice versa. This is my headset. So this goes that way, hits that, and I have a wireless headset. This is the USB cable that goes to the back of the stream PC. And this is just power switch to turn audio on and off. Um, now my stream deck, all that software of course is on my stream PC. Now this guy I really wanna talk about. This guy allows you to switch between uh, two uh, PCs with only one mouse and one keyboard. I have two mice. Uh, this one is always on my stream PC no matter what. This one, however, can switch. So if I, if I hit this button right here, it's gonna switch to blue and red. I know blue and red is my game PC. If I switch it back, it's gonna switch back to green. Come on. And now I'm on my, uh, my stream PC with the same keyboard and the same mouse. So it's very quick. Uh, it takes a little bit for the lighting to catch up, but it's actually very, very fast. So uh, I'm moving it up here now. We'll hit the button and I'm already able to move it down here. So it, it's quite quick. Uh, there's no latency to it whatsoever. It's extremely fast. I've I noticed zero latency with switching to it. And I've only got to have one keyboard and one mouse. Um, I choose to have a second mouse, it's wireless, and it's just always on my stream PC. Um, that way, say someone says something weird in chat, oh, what is this? Oh, interesting. Uh, if somebody says something weird in chat, I can easily just, you know, grab this wireless mouse and, you know, delete whatever message or whatever I need to do. And then I can still have this one on my game PC and, and keep playing the game without having to switch anything. Uh, again, Stream Deck's on the Stream PC. That is technically connected, well, it's connected to both. And uh, camera, obviously set up to the Stream PC. Go XLR, USB to Stream PC. 3.5 millimeter audio jacks or audio cables to game PC. Remember, in and out, they have to be paired together properly or will not work properly. Um, but I think that just about does it. I said I was going to show you guys my softwares that I have open, um, and I'll do that right now as well. One other thing I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to show you is um, my screen layouts, like what's on my game PC and what is on my stream PC and which programs I have open on each PC when I'm streaming. Uh, just so you get an idea of uh, how the game PC and stream PC 
um, software and programs, etc., should be open and, and for the like the most efficient setup essentially. All right, so now you are looking at my stream PC and these are the programs that I usually have open. I have uh, Streamlabs OBS. Obviously I use that for recording. Um, I have Twitch mod view open. Now I will say this is a great little way to save some CPU percentage. Don't use Chrome, download the Twitch app and uh, you can use this. I have it on my second monitor uh, off to the left over here. You can use this to save anywhere from like five to 10% on your CPU and RAM usage because uh, Chrome uses a lot for some reason. This Twitch app uses very little. Uh, I've got GoXLR open. Of course, you need that open. Dude, this is my stream PC. Um, and then I've got Discord open. I don't usually have to have Discord open, but a lot of the times people in my chat uh, will tell me, you know, they'll go into uh, Discord and look at this screenshot I put up. So, uh, by the way, Discord link below if you want to join the community. Very active, very good. Um, we're going to switch over to the game PC. It's going to look similar, but I promise you it is different. Um, this is my game PC. So the only, I usually have four programs open actually. Um, Discord, if I'm talking with somebody, if I'm playing solo, then that's not going to be on. Um, my game and this, this is extremely important. So right now I've got it projecting to the capture card and i have a video that goes over this and how to set this up this is very important if you're going to be doing uh dual stream pc streaming uh so you don't have screen tearing your viewers will love you for this uh it takes two seconds to open you literally just open the program you set up a display capture and after you've set up a display capture and a game capture i use game capture for my games but if i want to show everything like i'm doing right now then you use display capture you just right click it Go to full screen projector and you're going to project it to the capture card that is in my stream PC there. Um, so what that's going to do is let you have your displays completely separated. The reason that screen tearing happens is because of duplicating displays. When they're duplicated, they're overlapped. When they're overlapped, it causes screen tearing. When they're extended, they are completely separate from each other. Um, and in my case, I've got them even uh, off to the side of each other because you can lose your mouse in the other screen if you don't do it at like an angle. See how they're like not touching at all? I can never lose my mouse even if I go to the corner. Um, I have a video on this already. I've already made it. And if you need more clarification on how to do that, that's the video for you to watch. Again, that'll be in the description. All right, so I think that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, we went over why dual stream PC is a great thing to have as a streamer. Uh, I went over all the cables that I use and where they go um, and what they do. We went over the programs that I use and which computer they're on and just some basic routes and stuff like that for different audio settings. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. I will help as best I can. I'm pretty quick to respond. Um, and if you have any video suggestions for something later on, uh, also let me know in the comments. Anyway, love you guys. Have a good day. Thank you for watching and peace. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up, but I still try. I get so fed up. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up. I get so fed up.